We're going to draw a circle, but it's important to note that a circle in SketchUp has no round edges. If I zoom in on this circle, you can see that it's actually made up of straight edges. And the more edges a circle has, the smoother it's going to look. So let's create some circles that look a bit jagged like this one, and then we will smooth them out. To create a circle, you can use this icon here, which is found in the drop down right underneath the rectangle tool. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut letter C. To start a circle, you can click Release and move your cursor outwards. Then click Release to set it. We can create measured circles by typing in the radius size. So click Release again, and then move your cursor to the right, and we're going to type two feet, enter, for a circle that is four feet wide, because the radius is two feet, so double that includes the width of the circle. If we'd like the circle to look a bit more smooth, we can open the Entity Info window and change the number of edges. I'll hit my space bar and then right click on the circle edge here and choose Entity Info. And this Entity Info window gives us information about what is selected. And in this case, we have a circle selected and it has 24 segments around the edge. So we can simply highlight that and overwrite it. Let's type five zero enter and you can see immediately that the circle smooths out because it has more edges for a smoother look. We can bump that all the way up. Let's go to 90, enter for an even smoother look. But just remember, if you add more and more segments to the circle, the file size and the polygon count is just going to continue to go up. So you need to be cognizant of how much geometry you add to your models and decide whether that smoothness is going to be needed as you take up your allotted polygon count for your file. To draw an ellipses or an oval, we can simply draw a circle like we have here and then use the scale tool, the letter S or this icon. And click release on one of the side grips and bring it outwards to create your oval. Hit your space bar and then click out into some white space.